Good morning, folks. The penultimate chapter of Starwater will be released today on the website, examining the rarer and more magnificent Starwater events. You will remember yesterday we showed how the Quake Watch had been dropping with hints that the upticks could come again soon. Here's a bit from last night's news. Good evening, folks. I'm not one to ignore a mid-sized quake in the middle of Africa. It's always a potential uptick signal. The Corona Hole of Focus is now showing, cut in half on Iswa's power and connectivity chart. I think it should be a bit further in as the hole is technically on the Earth-facing third. And it's safe to say, the fields are currently wide open. So with that, we shifted the Earthquake Watch score up to 5-6, to six, with a strong trend upward. I had no idea just how fast it was coming. But first, the factors are peaking out. Elevated space weather from coronal hole stream impact is now integrating into the Earth system from the outer magnetic shell. Planets still dancing as the geomagnetic instability shifts, but most importantly, yet another coronal hole set to face Earth, the primary watch factor. Big, dark, transequatorial, with no magnetic fields blocking its influence at this time. Central Africa continues their rumble in the Congo. Stop eating my sesame cake. China taking a five-pointer to complement a couple Indonesian sixes. One at Mount Sinabung, where the volcanic eruptions continue and a bunch of people died in a landslide driven by rain and both volcanic and seismic shaking. And folks, that was the small one. Just north of Australia, we see a mid-six-pointer in Indonesia that's all over the charts into seven magnitude range. Five-pointers don't visit the U.S. West Coast very often. Let's just say the uptick is officially here and more is expected. Couple quick notes. NASA's Earth Observatory showing tremendous phytoplankton blooms as seen from above. We're hours away from China's launch on their surface mapping moon probe. Goes up around 1.30 a.m. local time, I believe. Sonoma was struggling to load on my computer for a few days, but now we see we took two Thanksgiving gamma bursts. We'll start to the day before and out of Pegasus on Turkey Day. Well, here's Comet Ison. Going, going, gone. Visibility may be ever beyond our reach at this point. Something small certainly survived, but it wasn't much. 40 minutes of audio discussion on the current status of ISON was added to the website yesterday, along with an hour of other discussion, including Ed Lead Skonen, one of the world's top Lead Skonen experts, joined us for the chat. Last look, folks, at solar flaring on the floor. We actually do have a delta spot, but it's relegated to turn away from us in the departing groups. There is complete magnetic separation in the groups facing Earth and turning in. Hard to call any flare danger even with the size of some of those groups. Great audio uploaded to the site yesterday. Next to last star water chapter comes out today. Shots of our star and the weather to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.